Hey guys, I'm IsleTBW and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Optifine from Minecraft 1.13. Very easy step-by-step -step tutorial guys so what you need to do first is go to your minecraft launcher go to launch options make sure advanced settings is turned on add new and then go to your versions here it's saying the latest version 1.13.1 we need to change this to 1.13 because there is not an optifine version yet for 1.13.1 so we've got release 1.13 we're going to go to resolution and change this to whatever the resolution is of your monitor. Mine is a 2K monitor, but most monitors are full HD monitors. Full HD would be 1920 by 1080 in these two boxes here. The next thing you need to change is JVM arguments. This is the amount of memory that your PC gives over to playing Minecraft. This defaults to one gigabyte of memory. You will definitely need to increase this because there can be memory leaks from Minecraft. I would recommend using half of your RAM up to a maximum of 8 gigabytes of RAM. What I mean by that is if you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM in your PC, then allocate 8 gigabytes of your RAM to Minecraft by changing this to 8. If you've got 32 gigabytes, then you can leave it at 8. 8, is, 8 gigabytes is more than enough. If you've got 8 gigabytes of RAM in your PC, then change this to 4. If you've got 4 gigabytes of RAM, change this to 2. Make sure you leave these both switched on and then press save. If you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see I've got unnamed configuration 1.13. You can click on that again. You can change the symbols here. I'll change this here to a diamond and I'll say this is new, new 1.13. I'm gonna press save. So you can see that's down here. We next need to go back into news and then we need to select the version of Minecraft that we want to play and this is 1.13 so I'll press play on 1.13 new and this is going to download the new version of Minecraft for you and that is just downloaded now so we're going to create a single player world in here so we're going to create a new world I'm going to put this into creative and we'll just call this 1.13 and create new world All right, guys, and here we are in 1.13. You can see I've got turtles here behind me and everything. Ooh, get up here. I've got the cute little turtles here and everything behind me. Uh, so you know that we're definitely in 1.13. So we need to now download Optifine for 1.13 to improve the performance of Minecraft. You need to log into Minecraft first, at least once before you download and install Optifine for Minecraft 1.13. But let's escape out here and let's go back into my desktop here. And the first thing you need to do is download Optifine 1.13. So, as I said, there isn't an official version of Optifine out yet for 1.13. It's an alpha version, so not everything works in Optifine, but it still works for a lot of it and will improve the performance of your Minecraft 1.13. The one that I would recommend is 9minecraft.net. And you can scroll right down to the bottom here and get the download sites for this. So we have Minecraft 1.13 Optifine download from server. And it's going to bring you to this download link here. Do not click on anything else. And once you've clicked on that, you'll see a download down here. And then it's going to say this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep preview Optifine 1.jar? Anyway, keep press keep. The reason why it comes up with this is jar files can be potentially harmful and carry viruses when they're not from reputable websites. So you go here and you click show in folder. I've done this a few times before already guys, so you can see a couple of downloads. And then you need to double click on it. And it brings up this little box here, which is Optifine HD Ultra E3 Alpha 8 from Minecraft 1.13. The reason why you need to log into Minecraft 1.13 first is because you need to create the Minecraft 1.13 files. Press install. And it brings up this little box here which is Optifine is successfully installed. You press OK. We're going to X out of here and we're going to close down this as well because we will not need that again. And we're then going to launch up Minecraft again. But before we do that, you can see here, play 1.13 Optifine HD U3 Alpha Optifine. We just need to make sure that all of the settings are still the same with that. So click on your launch options. As you can see here, Optifine 1.13, going to click on that. 
and they're not so you need to go back in here again and change the resolution to the 1920 by 1080 if you have a full HD monitor if you've got a 2k monitor then it would be 2560 by 1440 etc etc mine is a 2k monitor so I'm going to change mine to 2560 by 1440 the JVM arguments again we need to switch these back on to whatever amount of RAM you have and half the amount of RAM so if you've got 8 gigabytes RAM change this to 4 mine, six, mine is 32 I don't need 16 so I'm going to change this to 8 leave these turned on and press save again you can change this I'll change this to a diamond block this time and I'm gonna press save going back to news and just make sure you're selecting the right version with which is the one with the diamond block and I'm gonna press play and how you know the Optifine is installed is when you press escape and if you go into your options and go to your video settings you're gonna see a shaders button here which means that you can now also install shaders for 1.13 FPS is running at 100, 120, 136, 74 etc etc so you can see it's jumping up and down there so when we go back into options here animations you can turn these all off or you can turn off whichever which ones you want details you can clouds on or off you can do trees fast etc sky off sun and moon on swamp colors on stars on you can turn them off if you want you can leave them on so you get a lot more control whatever speeds up your minecraft for you so i've just made a few changes there not many changes and you can see i'm already getting 200 frames per second on the settings that i have changed we still have the turtles there in the background so that should help you guys to improve your performance for Minecraft. The one thing I will say is giving over more RAM and also uh, downloading Optifine will certainly improve your experience in Minecraft 1.13. So guys, that is me. I am IcelTPW. I hope you found this tutorial for Optifine and Minecraft very useful. If you did, it would be awesome if you left a like in the video. And if you're new in the channel, then why not hit that subscribe button? I do a lot of other videos like live streaming on Bedwars, Hypixel, and other servers. And I do other videos too, guys. So you can check it out. It would be awesome. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well, guys, so that you get notified of all of my videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. I really do hope you found it useful. If you did, please leave me a comment down below i'd love to know how you got on and if you're having troubles don't forget that you can leave me a question in the comments as well and i would be delighted to help you guys i am isotbw and thank you for watching this bye